The story begins with this man, Glover Teixeira, wins the championship by beating this man, Jan Blahovic, became the oldest UFC champ in history, 42 years old. This meant everything to Glover Teixeira, his country, praising him. He was an immigrant with nothing, came over to the land of the free and did it, accomplished his goals. Keeps the belt for about eight months, but loses it to this guy, Yuri Prohaska, a violent mixed martial artist well known for fighting Dominic Reyes. Poor Dominic, he had no idea what he was about to endure. I mean, I hate to laugh, but this was this was violent. It's safe to say Yuri Prohaska ended Dominic Reyes's career. Those who don't know Dominic Reyes, he was the guy that came the closest to beating John Jones. So Glover loses the belt to Yuri the same way he won it, rear naked choke. For those who don't know, he didn't choke him while he was naked. But all that hard work, his entire country praising him, his friends and family praising him, and he loses it on his first title defense. He tries to keep it together, take the loss like a man, but he was hurting, and we all saw it. But this is history being made. The oldest UFC champ in history? Give him another title shot. A rematch? No, we can't, because the guy who just won the belt is out on injury. So now, he has to fight this guy, Jamal Hill. A heavy-handed, long, and powerful athlete. I mean, look at the focus on this guy's face. Kill mode. Beast mode. So he beats Glover. Then what? He gets injured and is forced to vacate the title. How mad would you be having to vacate a title you just won over an injury? Sitting at home, watching the UFC fights with your friends and family, watching people you know you can beat but can't do anything about it. Keep him in mind. Let's jump back to Yuri Prohaska. Prohaska wins the belt, but also has to take a layoff. He gets better, he comes back, and he fights this man, Alex Pajeda. If you don't know who this man is, let me show you. Him and Glover Teixeira are family. They laugh together, cry together, win championships together for years. These guys work towards a goal. These guys are close. Now, that was him after work. This is him while he's at work. Alex Pajeda gets famous, gets better fights, gets more attention on him, and now he's booked for bigger fights. And his next opponent is this man, Yuri Prohaska. Y'all remember him? The one who took the title away from Glover? This is what Alex Pajeda did to him. Once again, the title was on the line in this fight. Everyone thought it was an early stoppage when he got knocked out, but Yuri admitted it. Prohaska admitted, I was out. And here we see Glover and Pajeda celebrating. <laughs> and I always thought this was funny. With the most awkward hug in the world. Uh, you can let me go now. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me go. Oh, dude. What, oh, what the hell, man? I just got in a flu. What are you doing? We all know what he's saying. It could only be one or two things. I love you so much. Thank you for avenging my death. Or you forgot to take the chicken out the fridge again before the fight. Y'all let me know what you think he was saying. Let's circle back to Jamal Hill. Alex Pajeda, they're fighting each other, guys, on UFC 300. Alex gets to avenge Glover again. Another chance of redemption. Another chance for revenge. If Alex wins, he's going to take that belt and hand it right over to Glover. Here you go, buddy. I love you. You're welcome. But Jamal Hill is a killer, guys. He's a killer. This one is going to be a banger. These two will face each other at UFC 300, April 13th, on a Saturday. Mark it on your calendar. So, who do you think is going to win? Subscribe.